Welcome to our exploration of one of archaeology's most captivating mysteries, the Nazca Lines. Situated in the Pampa, Colorado, a vast desert plain in southern Peru, these enigmatic geoglyphs have puzzled experts and enthusiasts alike for decades. Created by the Nazca culture, these remarkable figures range from geometric patterns to intricate depictions of animals and plants spread over nearly 190 square miles. But what purpose did they serve? Were they messages to the gods, astronomical tools or something entirely different? Today we dive deep into the sands of time to uncover the secrets of the Nazca Lines, exploring their cultural, religious and astronomical significance. So wasting further time, let's dive right in. Historical Background The Nazca culture, flourishing from 100 BC to 800 AD in what is now Peru, left behind one of the most astonishing legacies of the ancient world. The Nazca Lines, a series of vast geoglyphs carved into the desert, remain one of the most profound enigmas of archaeology. To create these monumental figures, the Nazca people removed the reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles that covered the desert surface, revealing the lighter-coloured earth beneath. This contrast in coloration makes the designs visible from elevated positions or from the sky. Initially, these creations were so vast and spread out that their full forms were only rediscovered in the 20th century with the advent of flight. From simple geometric shapes to detailed representations of animals and plants, the scale, precision and sheer variety of the geoglyphs illustrate a sophisticated and purposeful endeavour, hinting at a society that was both artistically and technically adept. As we delve deeper into the Nazca Line's history, we begin to uncover the layers of a culture that communicated with the gods through the very landscape they inhabited. Cultural and religious significance. The Nazca Lines are not merely artistic expressions, they embody the spiritual and cultural ethos of the Nazca people. Scholars like Johann Reinhardt have delved into the religious underpinnings of these geoglyphs, suggesting that the lines were more than just symbols. They were pathways connecting the Nazca with their deities. In a landscape where water was scarce and precious, it's believed that these figures were integral to religious practices, aimed at invoking the gods' favour, particularly for rainfall and fertility. The shapes of animals and plants, often depicted in the lines, are thought to represent figures of veneration, each with a role in securing the community's survival. Water, in the arid environment of the Pampa, Colorado, was akin to a divine element, and the Nazca's reverence for it is evident in the geographical spread of the lines. They converge on areas believed to be ceremonial sites, suggesting gatherings where rituals were performed to honour the gods of water and fertility. This interpretation aligns with Andean culture's broader cosmological views, where the earth, sky and water are interlinked in a sacred union, each aspect vital to the continuity of life. The complexity of the geoglyphs, which include representations of animals like the monkey, spider and hummingbird, further underscores their cultural depth. These were not random choices but symbolic selections, each animal possibly representing a specific deity or natural element critical to the Nazca's existence. Through these grand earth sketches, the Nazca communicated their reverence, fears and hopes to the heavens, crafting a vast open-air temple where the earth's surface bridged the mortal with the divine. Astronomical significance. While the religious interpretations of the Nazca lines are compelling, another fascinating perspective considers their astronomical purpose. Pioneering researchers Paul Kosok and Maria Reicher were among the first to propose that the geoglyphs functioned as a vast astronomical calendar, with certain lines aligning to key celestial events like solstices and equinoxes. This theory posits that the Nazca people, deeply attuned to the cosmos, used the lines to mark significant moments in the agricultural cycle, guiding their planting and harvesting activities. However, this astronomical hypothesis is not without its critics. Subsequent studies have shown that while some lines align with celestial phenomena, many do not, casting doubt on the idea of a comprehensive solar calendar. Yet, this does not entirely dismiss the line's celestial connections. The Nazca might have used selective geoglyphs for specific astronomical observations, aligning only those of particular significance to their cosmology and calendar. The debate over the line's astronomical role underscores the broader challenge in interpreting prehistoric artefacts. Without written records or direct testimonies, 
we're left to piece together meanings from the physical and contextual clues left behind. Whether the Nazca line served as an observatory, a religious site, or a complex amalgamation of both, their alignment with natural and celestial elements highlights the Nazca culture's sophisticated understanding of their environment and its cyclical patterns. In this interpretation, the lines are a testament to the Nazca's keen observation of the skies, an ancient people charting the heavens not just for scientific curiosity, but for their very survival, integrating astronomical precision with their spiritual life and agricultural practices. Theories on creation and purpose. The enigma of how the Nazca lines were constructed with such precision and purpose continues to fascinate scholars. Some theories suggest the Nazca people used simple tools and wood stakes aligned with strings to maintain the line's straightness and shapes. This methodological approach indicates a high level of planning and community organization, suggesting that the creation of the geoglyphs was a significant undertaking, possibly requiring the cooperation of the entire community. Debates about their purpose are equally varied. Beyond religious and astronomical interpretations, some scholars propose that the lines served as a part of water-related rituals, with the geoglyphs acting as a plea to the gods for rain, which was crucial in the arid environment. Others suggest they were markers for water sources or part of a ritualistic pathway used in ceremonies. Despite these theories, the line's true purpose remains elusive, a testament to the complexity and depth of the Nazca culture. Preservation and modern discoveries. The preservation of the Nazca lines is largely due to the dry, stable climate of the Peruvian desert, which prevents erosion and minimizes wind impact. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994, the lines are now protected, underscoring their significance to global heritage. Modern technology has unveiled new figures, expanding our understanding of the Nazca's scope and creativity. These discoveries, facilitated by drones and satellite imagery, reflect a dynamic field of study where the ancient and the cutting edge intersect, offering new insights into these ancient enigmas. Conclusion. The Nazca lines remain one of humanity's most profound mysteries, a fascinating blend of art, spirituality, and science. As we continue to explore and interpret these ancient symbols, we are reminded of the ingenuity of the Nazca culture and their profound connection to the land and the cosmos. While their full meaning may forever elude us, the Nazca lines stand as a testament to the human spirit's capacity for creativity and wonder, urging us to look beyond the surface and contemplate the deeper connections between our world and the universe. If you're fascinated by the enduring mystery of the Nazca lines and the remarkable civilization that created them, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing explorations into the world's greatest archaeological enigmas. Have thoughts or theories about the Nazca lines? We'd love to hear your insights and discussions in the comments below. Your engagement helps us bring more captivating content to curious minds like yours.